dear friends and today we will talk about fixed end moments with different loading conditions so let's get into our topic fixed end moments when there is our first condition is when there is a point load acting in the middle with we will, let's say we have a span of where all length is its length is l so its load is acting a point load is acting in the middle L by 2 is one side distance and L by 2 is another side distance so its fixed end moment at point A and point B will be both will be same and it will be PL by 8 PL by 8 will be at the right end and PL by 8 will be at the left end our second condition is when we have a fixed load when we have a point load acting somewhere not in the middle so let's say we have a distance A from the A side and a distance B small b from the B side so how will we calculate the fixed end moment the formula for this will be P B square divided by A or L square it will be the moment at, at A side and at B side it will be P A square B or L <coughs> so it will be the moment at the B end U L square you, you can also get it to memorize how when we calculate the moment of b side so we will square a and we, when we calculate the moment at a side so it will, will take care of b side okay now when there are two loads acting at distance l by 3 l by 3 from the fixed ends so how will we add how will be this formula 2 pl over 9 will be at a side and at b side it will also be 2 pl over 9 it will be the fixed end moments at that positions now when there are three loads acting and there are the same distance from the supports let's say they are acting at l by 4 l by 4 l by 4 and l by 4 so how will we calculate it its fixed end moments will be at a side it will be 15 pl over 48 and on the right side it will be 15 pl over 48 so both will be the same when the loads are acting three point loads are acting at l by 4 distance away each from one another now there is another condition when there is a uniformly distributed load w acting over the whole span so at fixed end moment at point a or the left side will be w l square will 12 and on the right side or we can say at the b end it will also be wl square or wl square over 12 you can see the formula wl square over 12 will be on the both sides now when there is a uniformly distributed load acting till the middle till the midpoint starting from a so at end a the fixed end moment will be 11 wl square over 192 and at side b or at b end we can say it will be 5 wl square over 192 so it's the difference because the load is acting on the side of a now let's say we have a variable distributed load w and its higher end is at point a and its lower end is at point b so moment at a side will be wl square over 20 while on side b it will be a lesser moment it will be wl square over 30 in this variable load it's like this in another variable load when its higher magnitude is acting on the center so what will be its moment when its higher load is in the middle so l, at l by 2 so what will be its moment on both the end both the end moment will be same it will be 5 w l square over 96 you can see in the formula 5 l square 5 w l square over 96 l will be the span of the beam now let's say so these were the conditions for fixed end moments you can check it out these were the conditions of fixed end moments thank you